Let's talk about how thumbnail test data works and how to analyze a test after it's finished. The first thing to know is always, always make sure you have the Chrome extension installed. If you don't have this installed, you're getting way less data than you should, way less often than you should, and you're doing a bunch of work you don't need to. The second thing to do before analyzing a test is always, always open up YouTube Studio and refresh the page. Because if you have a test running at all that's missing any data, the little thumbnail test pop-up will show up after a few seconds over here. It'll grab whatever data it needs to, and then it'll disappear, and you know you've got the last data. Once you've done that, refresh the page. In this case, this is an older test. It already has all the data. Now let's take a look at this data. The first thing that's often confusing for people with thumbnail test data is A, what thumbnail won, and B, how is CTR calculated? So CTR is click-through rate, which most YouTubers assume is very simply views divided by impressions, which is absolutely, unfortunately, not the case. In this case, this thumbnail got 16 views, and it had 70 impressions. If you do 16 divided by 70, that would be 22.8. My CTR is 4.28, which is about one-sixth. So why does that happen? The answer is not every view is a view from impressions. In particular, one of the reasons we give you all this data is so you can see the views that don't count as impressions. So if I scroll all the way down here, I'll see that most of the views for this actually came from my channel page, which was 11 of them, and a few of them came from the YouTube other page, which is just weird, extraneous places people can find videos. Uh, between these two, 13 views were not regular impression views. Were not, you got shown a thumbnail on search or on screen or desktop or browse suggested, any of those. Just things like this will remove views from your CTR. So I got, in this case, 16 views, but I got 11 plus 2 that won't count, which leaves me with 3. So if I take my 3 remaining views and divide that by my 70 impressions, all of a sudden, 4.28%, and suddenly everything makes sense. So that's how CTR is calculated. Not every view is counted the same. We're just giving you the actual CTR from impressions averaged across all the days, weighted, a whole lot of math happens, but it's all accurate. The second thing to understand is how winners are selected. You get to pick. And this is where interpreting tests becomes a skill. Now, some tools will just pick the thumbnail that got the highest click-through rate. Some tools will just pick the most views. Some tools will pick the highest average view duration. We leave that up to you because the math is not always perfect and will not always immediately show you which thumbnail is best. But when you look at all the stats, it's pretty obvious most of the time. Generally, we recommend just going off of views, but if you're a smaller channel and maybe don't have that many views to act on, we give you AVD times CTR, which has been shown to be a pretty helpful metric for determining how well a video will do. So that's basically how many people clicked and how long did they watch on average. And when you combine those two numbers, you get a pretty good idea of how many views you can expect the video to get overall, right? So if you don't know what to choose, if you're pretty new, you probably want to go with AVD times CTR, especially if you're a smaller channel. If you're a larger channel, you might just want to go with the highest views, period, because for you, if you're getting tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, a larger view count probably means this thumbnail started taking off and got a lot more clicks. So that's probably where you want to go with that. But there's also options like new viewers, where you might find that one thumbnail is really good for your current audience, but another thumbnail brings in a lot of new viewers. So you decide if you'd rather have it blow up with your current guys or bring you new viewers. It's up to you. So that's why we put you in control of this. And the key is sort by whatever you'd like to. Let's say I decide returning viewers is the most important thing to me, or even shares. I want to know which thumbnail is getting more shares. And I can click right here to find, based on the current sort, this thumbnail has the highest shares, which is this one. And then I can just click update thumbnail on YouTube, and that will update the thumbnail of that video to this thumbnail immediately. So after any test, you got to come in and just pick. 
And depending on your size, there's different ways and different thoughts you can have on it. Don't be afraid to go ahead and post some analytics or a screenshot if you're not sure what you think won. Uh, but that's roughly everything that you need to know. And there's a whole lot of data. So be sure to scroll through it and give yourself just greater insight. The better idea you have of the full picture, the better you're going to pick a winner. If you have any other questions, you can watch another tutorial or feel free to DM me on Discord.